Another trick, if you want to blow dry your hair, which I recommend you to slow down on when you're starting, you also need to use a paddle brush, brush like this. I use that when I want to blow dry my hair. Even blow dry my hair, I think I blow dry my hair maybe twice a year or once a year. Last year I've done that twice. I don't do too much because blow dry can be damaging too, especially if you don't know what you're doing. But it's always good to have a paddle brush for kinky hair. Whenever you use that, your hair is very well moisturized, has been conditioned properly, and do that in a very slow motion. And you pay attention to your blow dryer if you have own one to use low heat or cold setting depending you want to have the result of straight hair then you need to go higher in temperature but you also need to own a blow dryer this is the one i use the philips one this blow dryer has been recommended by a youtuber named shanila 26 she has gorgeous hair and a daughter too she takes pretty good care of the hair of her family and herself so that's the blow dryer she uses i got myself one i don't use it that much uh, tie my hair wet naturally kinky i barely use this only when i want to achieve specific hairstyle i use it with this one and also the heat protectant where's my heat protectant there you go this is the heat protectant i use frank always is a very cheap one the french brand you can get any a bit liquidy you can have the creamy ones you have the ones that are very popular the chi chi ones I don't have them and I don't want to spend all that money to I go. I went and got myself this one. You get yourself any because anytime you use heat, you need a heat protectant. These are the two I use when I want to blow dry my hair. The first two years, I didn't use heat at all and my hair grew so well and so healthy. So I am strongly advise you not to use heat. But if you want a blow dry style, there's another alternative you can use. And we've been using that alternative for years since we were little girls. Thread. You can use African threading. It gets your hair really nice and really soft and bouncy and flowy. So this is another thing for new naturals or my sister who want transitioning. Thread can be really good. And guess what? You can rock it on the wigs. You can rock it like that. I use the white one. That way, if I feel like just wearing my hair out, this is like another, you know, edgy style. So you can get yourself a black one. I use this maybe twice a year i don't do that much either because it can be kind of uncomfortable to sleep with so you can use thread too and mind you you don't have to make them tight for your hair to be soft it doesn't need to be tight learn how to finger detangle to my other natural finger detangle is key like even if you use tools i'm the natural who uses tool even if you use any kind of tool to detangle your hair you always always need to start by finger detangling your hair finger detangle is a must because you have choose not to create any other damage i know a lot of naturals who only finger detangle they don't have any tools so you guys if you can go through that that's another advantage at least your hair not going to be under too much tension and stress the con with finger detangle is it doesn't get out or the shed hair properly unless you take your time and do that like strength by strength that means you're gonna probably have to spend like a whole day in the bathroom doing that if you have that patient you do that because that's one of the healthiest way to actually detangle your hair but it's one of the longest one too so i'm not that patient i'm patient but not that patient so i do finger detangle slightly in the beginning and i use my comb with plenty of water and product to help you know detangling process to be really easy for me that helps with my hair growth and retaining my length. You also need to trim your hair professional shears. This is the Desange one, French brand again. It's scissors for hair, not the paper scissors. It can really be damaging and create split ends. So get yourself professional shears. I used to cut my knots, cut my stubborn hands. So you need this to pay the nine euros. Get yourself professional shears. You need to have clips. Clips are really great when you part in your hair so that you can just put your some section of your hair in place. I'm trying to get the dark ones, the big ones that I've seen in a lot of natural YouTubers' hair because this one sometimes it snag your hair it's metallic. It's in metal. But yeah, it doesn't matter, it's still helpful. And also get yourself rubber bands. Not the elastic ones, the metal, the ones, the simple ones. They sell those in Primark for those who live in Europe. 
Primark said those 150 you have like a hundred of them but it can be very very helpful if you want to achieve burns puffs you know all this kind of jazz try and give yourself a hair routine hair routine means that for example i wash my hair weekly the exact same things i did the week before i'm gonna do that the week after for as long as necessary for example two to three months you do the exact same thing like if you wash your hair weekly you do that be weekly you do that every two to three weeks you do it but stick to one hair routine the product you apply into your hair you remain to those give it time two to three months do the exact same thing don't skip one step because that's just making sure that you are training your hair to your specific hair care to see if it's working or not don't neglect your hair get yourself a hair routine stick to it when you do it don't rush it you need to be patient because dealing with kinky coarse hair texture can be really hard so take your time stick to one routine it doesn't matter how many youtube natural hair videos you watch once you find products that work for your hair like products that make your hair moisturize for a certain amount of time products that don't break your hair product that doesn't make your hair dry and brittle products that when you take your style out your hair is still banging products that your hair likes basically product that doesn't give you pimples or create something else side effects onto your body or to your skin product that your hair can handle product that do not give you headache product that give you proper sleep like products just gliding through your hair every time you use any tool i hope i give you all the tips people these are to me the staple products you have when you go natural the techniques you can learn them from youtube you can learn them from even people around you the information are not only on youtube there's a lot of naturals out there now you can get advices to people i just wanted to, to share uh, the basic tools and i hope this natural guide help you girls if i think of any other things i will tell you there are a lot of other options and a lot of other tools that are in other natural school but we're talking here about the basics the simple things even for the ladies on a budget can have to make their natural hair journey prosperous you know I hope you guys enjoyed the video subscribe to my channel if you want to see another video of me you want to get notified press on the notification bell in the meanwhile take good care of you it was your girl natinoa see you on my next video bye